So we now have the soldier uh, coming forth to uh, follow the commands of his king. Sir, on your errand I will go on, that is it shall be done anon, and he shall wreak you and your son, the people of Israel. Yea, look thou het him gould great one, and lands for to live upon, to destroy them as be can these freaks that bind so fell. And the uh, soldier now goes to find Balaam. And if you were listening earlier, we had a couple of instances of the word losels, uh, which is uh, someone who is a liar or a cheater. So the soldier now goes to have a chat with the prophet Balaam. Balaam, my lord, grease thee well, and pray of thee soon at him to be, to curse the people of Judea, that done him great annoy. Abide a while there, bachelor, for I may have no power but if that gods will were, and that shall I wheat in high. And Balaam kneels and prays to God. Unfortunately, by a process of duplication, God is currently being played by the same person. <laughs> Balaam, I command thee, King Balak's bidding for to flee, that people that blessed is of me, curse thou by no way. And Balaam replies, Lord, I must do thy bidding, though it to me be unliking, for thereby much winning I might have had today. Yet though Balak be my foe, thou shalt have leave thither to go, but look that thou do right so, as I have thee taught. And Balaam replies, Lord, it shall be done in height, this ass shall bear me aright, go we together anon, Sir Knight, for leave now I have I caught. And the stage direction then mentions that Balaam and the knight ride off. Balaam is on an ass. And this is quite important because this ass is almost certainly uh, our, our equivalent of a pantomime horse. Uh, it will be therefore mostly comic effect as we will discover later on. Continues Balaam chatting Kn to the knight. Knight, by my law that I live one, now I have leave for, for to go on. Cursed they shall be every one, and I ought when may. Hood the hinge that he be height, God's host I set at light. Worried that shall be this night, or that I wind away. Balaam, do my lord's will, and of gold thou shalt fill thy fill. Spare thou naught that folk to spill, and spurn their God's speech. Friend, I have God's wonder fell, both Ruffin and Raynell will work right as I them tell. There is no while to seek. And here we have a rather complicated stage direction, uh, because here the angel of the Lord meets up uh, in front of the ass and uh, draws his sword. And the ass that Balaam is riding on will now lie prostrate on the ground, and Balaam will be quite annoyed that the ass is not travelling any further. Go forth, Vanel! Go forth, go! What the devil, my ass will not go! Served she me never so, what sorrow serve it is? What the devil, now she is fallen down, but thou rise and make us thee bound, and bear me soon out of this town, thou shalt abide with this. And Balaam strikes the poor ass, and the ass transforms before and speaks to him. <laughs> Master, thou doest do secretly so good an ass as me to nigh. Now hast thou beat me here, thy, the bear thee thus about. Bernal, why beguilest thou me, when I have the most needed to thee? That sight that before me I see, maketh me down to lout. Am I not master my own ass, to bear thee whither thou wilt pass, and many a winter ready was? To smite me, it is shame. Thou wottest while, Master Purdy, that what thou haddest ne'er none like to me, nay yet ne'er so served I thee. Now am I not to blame? And uh, after this unfortunate bit of master-servant re relations has broken down, Balaam now can see the angel that has appeared before him and falls suddenly to his knees. Our oh Lord, to thee I make a vow, I had no sight of thee or now, little wist I that I that it was thou that feared my ass so. Why hast thou beaten thy ass, why? Now am I common thee to nigh, that changed thy purpose so falsely, and now wouldst be my foe. If this ass had not down gone, I would have slain thee here and on. Lord, have pity of me upon, for I sinned have I saw. Lord, is it thy will that I forth gone? 
Yea, but look thou do that folk no woe, other way than God bade thee do, and said to thee before. At which point Balaam and the soldiers now ride forward to the king. Balaam uh, has been thoroughly told now by both God and an angel that he must not curse the children of Israel. That's precisely what Balak wants him to do. So, Balak now welcomes Balaam. Ah, welcome Balaam, my friend, for all my anger thou shalt end, if that thy will be to wend and wreak me on my foe. Nought may I speak, as I have win, but as God putteth me within, to forbear all the end of my kin, therefore, sir, me is woe. Come forth, Balaam, come with me, for on this hill so mot I thee the folk of Israel, Shalt thou see and curse them, I thee pray. Gold and silver and eke pearl thou shalt have great plenty to curse them, that it soon may be all that thou sayest today. And Balaam and the king go to the mountain. Lo, Balaam, now thou seest here God's people all in fear. City, castle, and river, look now, how likes thee? Curse them now at my prayer, as thou wilt be to me full dear, and in my realm most of power and greatest under me. And at this point, the uh, stage directions state that they travelled to different sides of the mountain. How the mountain precisely was staged, uh, we don't know. Balaam has uh, now moved to the south side of the mountain. How may I curse here in this place? That people that God blessed has, in them is both might and grace, and that is ever well seen. Witness may I bear none bear against God that them can wear, his people that no man may dare, nay trouble with no teen. I say this folk shall have thee there, will that no nation shall thee grill, the goodness that they shall fulfil, numbered may not be. Their God shall them keep and save, and other reproof shall they none awave. But such death as they shall have, I pray God, send to me. What the devil ails thee, thou populat? Thy speech is not worth a fart. Doted, I hope, that thou art, for madly thou hast wrought. I bade thee curse them, every one, and thou blessest them, blood and bone. To this north side thou shalt gone, for here thy deed is not. And they now move to the uh, another side of the mountain, uh, having uh, looked over the, the Jewish uh, population before. And instead of cursing them, Balaam has blessed them. And the king wasn't very happy there. So now Balaam is moving to a different side of the, the, the mountain. Hey, Lord, that here is fair wanting. Halls, chambers, great liking. Vales, woods, grass growing. Fair yards and eke river. I wot well that God made all this. His folk to live in joy and bliss, that curses them, cursed be his, who blesseth them, talk to God is dear. Thou preachest, Populard, as a pie, the devil of hell thee destroy. And just pause you there, because we've had Populard twice, and it's rather good. What was it again? Hypocrite. So, um, can we just go back a little bit, just... Thou preachest, Populard, as a pie, the devil of hell thee destroy. I bade thee curse my enemy, therefore thou come to me. Now hast thou blessed them here three, for the means me to annoy. Sir King, I told thee ere so three, I might none of other do. And once again they move to a different side of the mountain. Balaam continues. Now on thing I will tell you all. Hereafter what shall befall? A star of Jacob springed shall, a man of Israel. But shall our come and have in bond all hinges and dukes of strange land, and all this world have in his hand as lord to dight and deal? Ha! Huh. Go we hence, it is no boot longer with this man to moot, for God is both crop and root, and lord of heaven and hell. Now see I well, no man one live against him is able to strive. Therefore, here as as moat I thrive, I will no longer dwell, 